Well, we're back, and I just got done editing the last little Goliaths of Log, and of course the first thing that comes in the mail today is just another Goliaths, so I finished filming that one, so I was like, alright, this one's got to go in the new vlog or whatever, and I just finished recording some Pokemon, uh, which that was a terrible view, just showed you a stack of cards, doesn't matter, you should go check out the video, it was Astral Radiance, it was an interesting one, but now I'm like super sweaty, because uh, this light that I have beaming on me just gets me hot and bothered in the sweat way nothing else that's it okay take that out maybe i'll probably leave it in in any case i don't know what else is going to go in this vlog i'm just kind of filming as i'm going um and probably gonna just open glios as i get them in too so we'll probably open up this guy maybe i'll wait for like one other package and then we'll open up a few glios and then i don't know whatever is in store for the rest of this vlog is whatever's in store probably just me getting more stuff in the mail <laughs> it's the typical thing for me right now okay i'm currently doing some laundry and it's probably pretty loud down here because of that but i happen to be looking through some old boxes we had in storage with my wife and we found a whole box of all our old action figures like nice action figures like anime ones figma if you know what know what those are uh but just really nice figures and i happen to find this guy check this dude out man Let's see if it can focus on it it's not really going to focus, but I'll do a better shot so you guys can see it. But old figure of mine that I used to have up, and uh, he's freaking sweet, man. So I'm going to try to find a spot for him somewhere. But then look what else I found here. I found this super tiny random skull. I don't know what it's from. I have no clue, but it's like perfect glass size, and it's even got like a little whole socket thing. That might actually fit like the glio socket system so i'm kind of excited to see if that's something i can possibly slap on a figure i don't know it's kind of interesting we'll see show me what you're drawing in your comic book this what's this it's the second part of among us the second part of among us show me your other pages really quick let's see wow great whoa so many kidding. stories Wait, one more this is one, two. This one. Wow, okay, sorry. I almost missed that page. I, what, Dang. What, what, what? what? Oh, wow. Good stuff. I'm making the best potato story. Nice. It's so funny. I'm also a comic book artist, so it's awesome to see that he's uh, taking up the, the mantle of doing comic book art in his little notebook it's something i always did as a kid too so although in this day and age it's just among us and roblox that's the center of his drawing specialties but that's all right <laughs> pokemon went to walmart today picked up a few little collection sets that they had in stock this bull town one i always saw it online but it actually looked really sweet in person i love the green in this guy so i snug i snagged them you know snug them snagged them i got the mewtwo v union pretty sweet and then this just came in the mail for me hopefully i didn't just show my address uh but let's check this out oh my everything's falling astral radiance etb not one not two uh not three uh but four etbs of astral radiance pretty dope perfectly balanced as all things should be i'm actually very nervous that this is gonna fall but <laughs> okay all right i think i got what i needed now i can uh Boop. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to push that over. I also just picked up another Twinkle Melody off of Amazon because for 30 bucks you can't really beat it for a nice, good, fun chance to get another Clan God Pack. All right, we got more Glios. We've got the package that I got in, like, right at the tail end of the last video. That's a really cool figure in it. And then I've got some rom-com toy figures that I haven't gotten yet. I've been eyeing them, and I finally pulled the trigger. So a couple of the new ones from their new release, and I'm excited to check those out. But let's open up this guy first, because I'm very excited for putting him on my shelf. All right, let's sneak him out of the bag here. He's a big one. He's a bio monster, but he's, like, the big tank guy look at all these parts that are chilling in here holy crap fully sealed too i like it i like it i forgot this one was like pretty much sealed got some like extra parts another head it looks like i think you can build like another figure actually with this or you can just set up the whole cool biomass guy himself one of the hubs, a very nice looking hub. Man, yeah, so much in here, that's so great. Now I'm realizing I don't quite remember how you set him up. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay, I, uh, I messed up. I uh, put this guy down and hit pause on my recording 
so I could try to find maybe a way to build him, but I just don't have the pictures right now. I got to look it up. So I started talking and recording, recording again, saying how I was going to build him and show it to you guys later, which I still plan to do because he looks freaking awesome. Uh, but I am going to build him later and then show you guys the results. And I went on to film for the next 10 minutes, opening up my rom-com toy figures and talking about them breaking them down and uh letting you guys see all the different parts and pieces and then realized i still had my recording paused so that's freaking sweet um okay so we're gonna run back over my little rom-com toy uh packages which i already opened up as you can see thinking i was recording uh, when I really wasn't. But here are the two figures I got. The Starlight Beast from the Mighty Maniacs line. And now my... Oh, boy. Now this thing is just gonna... Oh. Oh. All right. There you go. This is a Starlight Beast from the Mighty Maniacs line. He is very cool. Comes with two headpieces. And, oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm having to re-go over this because I didn't hit record again. I'm such an idiot. I, lo I really like these guys, though. They got a beefy... Uh, bulky body, kind of like the armivores with stocky legs. They got a good weight to them. I enjoyed a lot. I guess I'm going to re-go over the head pieces that came with it. Here's one of the other head pieces. It's kind of like a little fish man or gill man type creature from the Black Lagoon head. It looks pretty dope. I like this one a lot. And then you get an ape head, kind of like a little gorilla ape, which fits very nicely with it. They all kind of fit nicely with it. I think the only one that doesn't fit quite as good is the gill man. But I like the Gilman head the most. But these guys are uh, are really cool. And I have another one coming in, a third one, which is a different kind of translucent variant. Uh, except it has a very, very cool headpiece, which has a lot of potential from what I've seen online to do cool things with. So I'm very excited for when that comes in from eBay. And then we have the Starlight Phantom, which is the more robot-esque one. It's got these really cool, like, gauntlet hands. The whole like big armor vibes and everything which is sweet i like the little highlights of pink on him and throughout him this is one of the first heads in the re recording i was talking about how this is like very alien head shaped and you could almost make some adjustments to it in paint job and just make it an alien head which would be pretty dope actually and the heads that come with it are this like little astronaut head with a big visor looks pretty sweet with the figure again they all match pretty well i like the consistency between the head pieces how they all kind of match and we got this more like barbaric looking helmet with a bunch of horns and stuff again really dope really cool i like these guys i i do i think they're really dope and they got a good weight and feel which you guys know i like the weight and feel of these things it helps me know that there's uh they're, they're good quality, I guess you could say. But let me know in the comments. Do you guys have any of the rom-com toy stuff? If you do, let me know what you guys have and if you enjoy these dudes. And, yeah, make sure to check out the store for the Mighty Maniacs line if you if you do like these. Go support them if you do because it's a pretty sweet mix of the Glios and interesting figures. So I think it's worth your time to go check them out. Okay, I can't believe I just opened up that package and wasn't recording the whole time. Oh, joy. And again, I'm going to go look at pictures and build him, and I'll show you the end product in a bit. This is exactly why I don't do the pause button when I record. They have that little pause that lets you pause and then jump back into recording. And this happened to me once a long time ago. And I lost like 20 minutes worth of a booster box that I was opening up and didn't realize I didn't unpause for something. And uh, yeah, I lost all that footage because I had already opened up the rest of the box. So uh, this is like a little gentle reminder to me that uh, this is there's a reason why I don't press that little stupid pause button. I just end recording and then I start a new recording when I'm ready to go again. Oops, sorry. I don't know what part you guys like more. Is the actual opening is the part you enjoy of me opening up for the first time, or if you like me just going through and reviewing them. So, I mean, I can give you the review and tell you what I think, but I like the, you know, uh, reactionary content of me opening these up for the first time and showing them to you. So now it feels kind of like fakish for me to go back and be like, oh, look at it. I'm just going to try to regurgitate all the information I literally just told you and didn't film. <laughs> oh boy. I still remember losing that 20 minutes of a booster box opening. It was tragic. Just absolutely tragic. It felt like I wasted the whole box because I got nothing filmed. <laughs> Thank goodness it wasn't a longer thing though. I only lost about 10 minutes and yeah, I recovered, but 
could have been way worse. Okay, wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take to build this dude, but there he is. Pretty much all put together. I still got spare parts because, you know, they give you extra to just build the normal one and a couple extra spare ones just for whatever miscellaneous. But this is the closest I could get to the pictures I found online and I added in like the, the wings and stuff because I wanted to include them. Uh, but this is how he looks, man. It, it's pretty cool, but holy crap, was that a pain in the butt to build. That was a, uh, yeah, that was a, that was a pain, man. Oh my gosh. Some of those um, connector pieces were just killing me absolutely killing me but you can see it's a dope looking figure he's got like a claw he's got the big cannon and he's got the roving motors here just looking sweet he'll go up on the shelf next to the cray booth and uh sit pretty and not be touched since this was such an ordeal to get put, get put together but that's how he looks heading out I'm gonna go hang with the buds go to my friend's arm wrestling practice at a bar get some drinks get some food Maybe have a bonfire, and then maybe play some magic. Looking to be like a fun evening. Haven't hung out with the guys in a while, so I'm gonna go do that, and then uh, I don't know. Maybe open up some more stuff. No. Yeah, No, that was like forever. Like Peter came like when Josh had a rollerblade. Dude, I could not remember at all how to do that. You got good at it. You were fine though. No, I was not. I thought I was gonna die the entire time. No, you were fine after you freaking wow. Oh, Ow. Don't worry. It's this little one's third birthday today, right? Koya's a birthday. It's her birthday, yeah. She's three. Yeah. We're playing some fun things. She's going to open some gifts, right? I got her. Oh. I'm going to be Shh. at school. Don't tell what you got her. Oh, my goodness. Are you excited? Yeah. You excited for your birthday? Yeah. I see. Tell me about your birthday. <laughs> Whoa!
been a bit of a busy week to say the least, but uh, now we're coming out to a close. We're going to finish on some packages. Got that last little Rom-Com Toys Mighty Maniacs guy in, including a couple more from Evan. So let's open them up and see what else we got. Let's start with Evan's package. We got a couple more from him. We got in a brand new lot of Glyos figures, so he sold me a couple of his extras that he didn't want or need. So let's check these guys out. A couple cool ones. First up, we got some more of the nice stuff Outlander dudes. Looking pretty sick in a translucent green. Let's open him up. Check out that dude. I love these helmets, man. I'm kind of addicted to the helmets. That face is a little derpy. Not gonna lie. A little derpy of a face. But he's a nice translucent green, so I'm happy to have him. He'll go on my shelf with the rest of the dudes. And this guy supposedly is one that people tend to want to get. It's a cool, like gold crimson guy let's check him out he's already open so we'll slide him out but he looks pretty dope oh he's got like a purple hue to him i didn't realize he has like a purple hue that's kind of lit that's awesome looking and he kind of looks actually pretty good with like the bird head which i'm typically not a fan of the bird head guy but he's got the glio armor or the glion armor which is always dope looking you can slap on the faden head which yeah i think i prefer the bird head on him the faden head looks sweet i'll use him elsewhere but i think the bird head looks pretty dope although we do have this one as well which this one looks pretty sweet not gonna lie not gonna lie but i think it's uh the bird head the bird head is a win for this figure. I don't know. Something about it just looks really nice. Comes with a few spare parts. You know, some arms and legs and a little cowl. Uh, but let's snap on the head of this dude. And yeah, he's sweet, man. I didn't realize in the pictures that he's got this like purple hue. But it's really sharp. And I love the armor on this. I think this is backwards. I think this goes in the front, isn't it? I don't know. Looks good like this, though. I'm not going to lie. And I kept the other Mighty Maniacs out because we've got this last one that I got from eBay. So let's slide him out here and take a look. Check this dude out, man. He has got an awesome Ghost Rider head. Oh, man, this is so sick looking. Look at how cool that looks, man. Look at that. That is such a dope head design. He is going to look sweet, mix and match. Here's the other heads, you know, the standard ones that we kind of already saw before, but in this painted yellow and orange fire variant but he looks really freaking sweet just to compare with the other purples this is an older wave that they dropped and they actually did make one that's very much like the ghost rider costume pretty much uh which looks really sweet but they painted his head in like the white and just like yellow colored hair so i think like if i ever get the base model switching it with this translucent head would really make it look extra poppy so this is a dope one though really cool but yeah these are the ones that have piqued my interest as of late and if i get more in i'll show you guys which ones i get but these ones look especially sweet and i'm very happy with the new wave ones that i got too so really dope though i love love that head look at that that looks so cool and you can see like it almost looks like there is an airbrushing technique going on with the yellow on top of the translucent and this is kind of what i want to go for when i start to do custom paint so i gotta keep that in mind that it does work pretty well and looks pretty good but yesterday we had another very exciting drop from the god beast over there he dropped a new wave of figures and yeah i placed an order it was a pretty big order and a lot of the figures that i got are already sold out so i'm very excited for when those come in and i'll probably dedicate the next vlog opening to going over the figures from that wave and showing them off because they are very very cool i'm very excited for those so don't miss that one that one's gonna be really fun to look at all the new figures from his new drop he always does an awesome job and this new wave it looks to be like no exception it looks phenomenal but if you guys enjoy the glio stuff again make sure to leave a like subscribe so you can be notified for when that new god beast wave video comes out again i'll be trying to get that one out pretty quickly because i want to go over all the new stuff just like i did with the onel drop but thank you guys for watching all the way to the end and we will see you guys in the next video